Hey everyone, I'm Deanna Corby with Deanna Corby Dressage and I am so freaking pregnant. I am due in uh, 10 days right now. Still working full time. Well, I've backed off a little bit, but um, I've got PJ here and I wanted to give you guys a little update before my content starts changing a little bit. So I'm going to update you guys with um, some pregnant equestrian kind of stuff. But um, PJ, this is one of my two Hanoverians, they're full brothers. He is turning two this month in May and same month that I am due with our first kid. <laughs> Pretty excited. Um, I just wanted to, like I said, update you guys and kind of give you a little note to any, any um, equestrians out there that are interested in having a family someday. Um, kind of give you some insight on how I've handled things. Um, first of all, I don't teach a whole lot of, of kids. I love the kids that I do teach, but currently um, I'm teaching mostly adults who are quite self-sufficient. So it's been a true blessing being able to <laughs> It's been uh, really nice being able to teach my adults and use my uh, seat coach and sit down in the shade. I've had such an easy pregnancy. I'm so grateful. No morning sickness, no problems at all until recently. I've been having some trouble sleeping because I developed a pregnancy induced purple tunnel. I didn't even know that was a thing, but it is, and it's terrible. And I can't even make a fist without severe in my hands and in my wrists until like lunchtime. Anyway, uh, having the um, um, uh, electronic system to communicate instead of having to scream stand in the middle of the arena has been really helpful in being a pregnant equestrian. I've also uh, got some really great trainer friends in the area and they're taking over my lessons while I'm on maternity leave because I, I uh, really want my students to Still get the help that they need and want while I'm gone. It's pretty tough though not being able to ride and being able to help my students in that way but they've had to kind of figure out how to do it get on their own and work through things by being coached instead of you know always using the Deanna Corby bailout plan where I get on their horse. Um, just kidding nothing's wrong with that it really helps to see uh, someone ride your horse but anyway it's been different but it's possible you know you can have a career and a family if you want you don't have to but you can if you want so anyway I don't know if you guys remember the day I got PJ when he was about seven months old wild and untouched by humans but uh, like I said this month <laughs> he's turning two and He's obviously freaking huge. He's bigger than Roman is currently right now. Roman's 11. Full brothers, like I said. Um, I don't. I haven't done the string test, and I don't. I haven't measured him because I just. I don't really care. But um, yeah, he's gigantic, and I'm pretty pretty uh, excited about his future. Um, as a two-year-old, he's currently doing nothing with his life except spending my money and taking up space, but uh, that's okay. Um, he's worn a saddle already, uh, just once. I made a video of that because I happened to have help that day. But um, other than that, he's just growing up in the big field with the other horses learning, uh, learning some manners. I think personally that's all a two-year-old should be doing, but that's my personal opinion. <sighs> I'm running out of breath. I'm getting hot. I'm so glad that I'm not going to be pregnant during the summer because I'm already angry enough in the summer and being so gigantic in the summer is not something I'm interested in. Um, so anyway, uh, let me know what you guys think of this video. Um, let me know if you have any questions, put them in the comment section below. And I can't wait to see you guys soon. I'll uh, update you on 
how things go in the next couple of weeks. Okay, we're leaving now. <laughs> Bye, you guys.